OpenAI and Google are heading toward a direct collision again, and this time it feels like the biggest face-off the AI world has ever seen. Both companies are preparing to launch their most advanced systems yet, almost simultaneously. OpenAI's upcoming GPT 5.1 thinking model and Google's Gemini 3 Pro are expected to define how the next generation of AI thinks, creates, and reasons. And what's so crazy is leaked show that both launches could arrive within days of each other, and neither side seems to be ready to back down. Hidden inside the ChatGPT backend, developers recently discovered traces of something labeled GPT 5.1 thinking. At first it looked like an internal test entry, but soon multiple references appeared alongside the other official models. That means that OpenAI's next major model wasn't just on the horizon, it was already being quietly tested. What makes this leak so unusual is what the thinking label stands for. This isn't a speed or size upgrade, it's a different philosophy altogether. Instead of focusing on faster replies, GPT 5.1 thinking appears designed to slow down when it needs to, to take time and reason through complex problems. Early indicators suggest it might use multi-step reasoning, breaking a prompt into smaller, logical segments before giving a complete answer. It could also use something new called a thinking budget, where the system decides how much computation and time to spend depending on how difficult the task is. Simple questions would get instant answers, but harder ones would trigger deeper processing. For the first time, an AI would seem to pause and reflect before responding. If these features are real, GPT 5.1 thinking would be OpenAI's first attempt at deliberate reasoning rather than rapid prediction. There's also talk that the model has been tuned for a better understanding of ambiguous or emotionally nuanced language. Instead of giving flat, formulaic answers, it may interpret tone and context with greater sensitivity. That would move ChatGPT closer to something resembling cognitive depth, a model that doesn't just generate words, but weighs the meaning. While the word thinking might sound like marketing, the underlying goal is clear. OpenAI is trying to make AI that reasons like humans do, not one that just completes text patterns. The timing of the discovery feels intentional. Google is preparing to roll out Gemini 3 Pro, and OpenAI's leak seems designed to grab attention before that happens. Gemini 3 Pro is rumored to come with a 1 million token context window, enough to handle an entire book or a full codebase in one session. Google's bet is on memory and scale, a model that never forgets and can hold enormous amounts of data at once. OpenAI's strategy looks like the opposite. It's focused on reasoning and decision-making depth. Both are chasing the same goal from different angles, to make AI seem more human. The GPT-5 label itself is no longer speculation. Code snippets found inside OpenAI systems mention GPT-5.1, GPT-5.1 Reasoning and GPT-5.1 Pro. Enterprise logs also reveal that companies will soon be able to choose which version they use, locking in stable releases and avoiding automatic updates. That's a major improvement for businesses that rely on consistent behavior. One leak schedule even points out to a rollout date around November 24th, which is pretty soon. That timing overlaps almost perfectly with Google's release window for Gemini 3 Pro, setting up what looks like a coordinated duel between the two biggest AI companies on the planet. Outside OpenAI, though, new evidence adds more entry. On OpenRouter, a mysterious model called Polaris Alpha began appearing. Users quickly noticed it performed far beyond GPT-4 class systems. It handled creative writing and reasoning tasks with unexpected precision and calm, structured through process. 
Many now believe Polaris Alpha is actually GPT-5 thinking being quietly tested under a different name. If that's true, parts of OpenAI's next model might already be running publicly without anyone realizing it. OpenAI's overall direction seems to be moving towards specialized model families, smaller mini versions for quick chat, thinking versions for deeper reasoning, and pro editions tuned for reliability in an enterprise work. The company is effectively teaching its AI to choose between intuition and deliberation depending on the task. Instead of one model doing everything, each type will have a different personality. Some instant, some patient. Google, meanwhile, is about to strike back with Gemini 3 Pro. The new model has already been listed on Vertex AI, Google's cloud platform, under the tag Gemini 3 Pro Preview 2025. It continues the Gemini line, but on a much larger scale. Gemini 2.5 Pro, the current version, already leads in several coding benchmarks. The next model is expected to push reasoning, coding, and multimodal understanding to new levels. With a longer memory window and more robust image and video processing, Gemini 3 Pro could become the most comprehensive model Google has ever built. But the story doesn't end there. Alongside Gemini 3 Pro, Google has another project in final testing called Nano Banana 2. It sounds playful, but the impact might be enormous. The original Nano Banana launched earlier this year and instantly went viral because it lets user turn and simple selfies into glossy 3D style portraits. That single feature brought over 10 million new users to the Gemini app within weeks. Even Nvidia's CEO mentioned it as a breakthrough in user creativity. Nano Banana 2 is building on top of Gemini 3 Pro's image backbone and the improvements are dramatic. It supports native 2K rendering and with 4K upscaling meaning it can produce professional-grade visuals straight from a smartphone. Text-to-image accuracy has been overhauled, sowing one of the biggest weaknesses of AI art, broken or unreadable typography. For the first time, posters and magazine-style graphics generated by an AI could include clean, legible text. The model also introduces cultural context awareness. Instead of generic scenes, it tailors lighting, clothing, and background details to match the region described. A prompt like, streetwear shoot in Berlin winter looks cold, gray, and urban, while family picnic in Tokyo springtime comes alive with cherry blossoms and local scenery. It feels aware of place and mood in a way earlier models never were. Another major fix is the subject consistency. Previous image systems often changed faces or outfits between renders. Nano Banana 2 maintains the same subject across multiple images, almost like storyboarding scenes from a movie. Creators can now generate connected images that follow one character through different settings. The rendering time has been cut in nearly half, dropping from around 25 to under 10 seconds, putting it in the same speed class as Mid Journey 6 and Adobe Firefly. There is even a new edit with Gemini mode that lets users highlight specific parts of an image to modify, adjusting color, outfit, or background without regenerating the whole thing. Underneath, the model runs on a new multimodal core called Gemini 3 Pro Image. It merges text, vision, and reasoning in one pipeline, and it supports text-to-image, image-to-image, and multi-image fusion, letting users blend styles or merge separate scenes into one coherent result. This same technology is expected to appear in Google Photos, Workspace, and even Android wallpaper generation by 2020. 26. Future Pixel phones may use it directly inside the camera app for real-time analysis and automatic enhancements. And while all eyes focus on Gemini's flashy new models, Google quietly released another key piece of the puzzle. ADK Go, the agent development kit 
for the Go programming language. It gives developers the same tools previously available in Python and Java to build AI agents programmatically. ADK Go brings full debugging, version control, and deployment flexibility, treating AI like regular software instead of a black box. It even supports A2A or agent-to-agent -agent communication, allowing networks of specialized agents to collaborate securely. With this, Google isn't just building models, it's building the framework for distributed multi-agent AI systems. So now, the stage is set. OpenAI has the thinking model that tries to reason like a real mind. Google has the memory-driven model that sees and understands everything, along with image systems that can visualize any idea instantly. Both are aiming for the same crowd, the platform that defines the next phase of artificial intelligence. If the leak holds true, November 2025 will be remembered as the month where the two of the most advanced AI systems in history went head to head. On one side, OpenAI will unveil the GPT 5.1 thinking, a system that slows down to think. On the other hand, Google will reveal Gemini 3 Pro and Nano Banana 2, machines that see, imagine, and create with human-level precision. The difference in their approach? OpenAI is chasing intelligence, Google is chasing imagination. The outcome could reshape how we work with AI forever, a model that pauses and reasons one step closer to actual cognition, a model that creates photorealistic worlds on command changes the meaning of creativity. Together, they mark the moment where artificial intelligence stops feeling artificial. Whether GPT 5.1 thinking becomes the mind of the future or Gemini 3 Pro becomes its eyes, one thing is certain. The next generation of AI won't just assist humans. It will think, remember, and imagine alongside us. And once that happens, the line between tool and companion may disappear entirely. So what do you think? Is OpenAI's reasoning-focused GPT 5.1 about to outsmart Google's massive Gemini 3 Pro? Or will Nano Banana 2 steal the spotlight this time? Drop your thoughts below and make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.